Hello, hello, oh wait, I placed my mic too far away from me initially, there we go, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream, I am Hattie Drago, dream eater of knowledge, VTuber, stuck in a library, and what better way to spend our time than going through my library of games. Today, I'm going to be playing another game from my Ichio bundle library. That's kind of the theme of this first week. It's called Lucifer Within Us. Uh, but before that, some interest, some stellar, stellar news. Uh, partly thanks to Taiga yesterday. Uh, I am now at, I think it said 52 followers now. <laughs> That's just super exciting. Uh, now a quarter of the way to getting to affiliate. I just need to crank out streaming as much as possible and getting as much viewers in here as possible which that seems to be going very well so that's exciting hmm hmm very good um hope we're all doing well welcome welcome and yeah i wasn't expecting to grow that fast honestly but um <laughs> i'll have to prepare some new things uh i did also i figured out me being a Hello, Damon. Hello, hello. I guess what? I, I, if you if you didn't just catch me say it, I'm officially at 52 followers. So that's a quarter of my requirements to become affiliate. So that's fun. That's exciting. Mhm. Mm uh, what else? Do I have any other announcements? Not really. I mean, oh right, the the rules down below. I figured out how the editing the panels works so that I can have the the rules and a better about section and all that type of stuff eventually. Um, it it only has rules down there for now and they're kind of they're kind of basic. It's like d just be nice. Um, I did put something on there about like no backseating unless I am asking for help which I will I will probably ask for help. <laughs> that that's that's near guarantee. Uh, for some of these games. Hmm. Maybe not for this game. I, I think where my brain in regards to puzzles might have been dying yesterday. My brain in regards to deductive reasoning is going to be much, much better. I think. And then I do have to figure out a schedule for next week. It was fun figuring that out. Like, I think I will bring that that game back and we'll, I'll, I'll make it more of a uh, collaborative effort. <laughs> yes, this, is, this game's gonna have a lot of objecting in it. Um, from the trailer that I saw, you know, you're walking into a place, you see you're investigating a dead body and you talk to other people and if there are people, and you uh, suss out people's alibis. Mm -hmm. It looked interesting. Let's get started, though. Uh, make sure I have myself set up here. Boop. Boop. Bit. Uh, something like... Oh, that might be just enough space. My, my unfortunate... Um, Ace Attorney like I don't think I ever actually go into a courtroom with this game, but we'll see. Now, I have to work around I think let's see. My my next um my next purchase for this setup I think will be either another monitor or just uh However, I can get this second monitor of mine that's currently a fire stick to be my second monitor. Uh, cause that's where I'm struggling. I need to be able to see the chat. <laughs> Let's get started. 
Though, I can see you guys, just not all the way. Two brothers case. It looks like we get to do different cases. A hundred years without murder. A hundred years without demonic possession. Then this. I am Sister Ada, exorcist and investigator. This is my testament to the massacre at St. Walpurgar Walpurga's Abbey. It is truth. Do not believe the lies of my accusers. Okay. St. Walpurga's Abbey Cybernetics Workshop. Sister Ada, welcome. Oh, it's voiced. Nice. I am Virgil, Chief Inquisitor at St. Walpurga's Abbey. Walpurga. That's a nice voice. I'll have to look up the, the voice actors in this. We may be in need of your talents as an exorcist. Oh, I'm an exorcist. You can survey the evidence yourself, but I think you will agree. Has there truly been a murder? It seems so. A respected priestess, Mother Miriam, passed this morning under suspicious circumstances. Oh no, not Mother Miriam. A demon may be present. Here, even now, possessing someone. Oh, I nearly forgot for my water I need my straw, so I don't glitch too badly. Mm. Even though it is kind of funny. What happened, exactly? Mother Miriam was only recently appointed as successor to Abbot Gregory. This morning, she came to the workshop to receive her coronet of office. Something went wrong with the installation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. To put it mildly, the coronet oversurged, killing Mother Miriam. Brace yourself for the sight. Ooh. Then the workshop operators, Gideon and Reuben, are the prime suspects. They are brothers, right? Yes, but it's highly out of character for Gideon or Reuben to kill someone. You don't know that, Virgil. Even so. They were the only ones present when Mother Miriam died. Uh-huh. Daemons nurture our sinful desires into unthinkable actions, Virgil. One of the brothers has surely been seduced by a daemon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that, is that the chant from Jackie Chan? From the uncle? Or am I, or am I misremembering something? Whichever it is. I will unmask his lies and cast out the daemon within him. May Einsoff's will be done. Einsoff? Jeez. Oh, okay, good. I got to that To exorcise right. a daemon, we must uncover four things. First, the suspect. We must identify which sinner is possessed by a daemon. Oh, uh, you know what? This is a clever way of um, enacting a tutorial sort of thing. Okay. Second... The opportunity. When exactly was the murder committed? Uh-huh. We can pinpoint the opportunity by analyzing each suspect's testimonies. Mm -hmm. Third, the means by which the murder has been committed. Mm -hmm. The means can be found among the physical evidence at the scene of the incident. Okay. Fourth, the motive of the murderer, uh -huh. which can be found in their inner world, their sanctum. Uh, uh, excuse me? <laughs> the motive will tell us which daemon possesses the sinner. Oh. Oh, interesting. So maybe there will be more demons than just Lucifer in this game. Okay. Very well. Let us begin our holy work. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and it's this interesting, like, 3D, uh, three-quarter view. I like that. Uh, what are the controls? Oh, just mouse click? Actually, you should probably look at the controls. Uh, it didn't show the controls. It's probably just mouse click. Have you examined- Oh, okay, so only cutscenes are voice. Have you examined this explosion's remains? If any component of the coronet is missing, that would suggest that the incident was a sabotage. Maybe I should try the Japanese chant they use in season 4 for the Oni masks. Ah, I don't remember season- Actually, no, wait, I'm starting to remember season four. That was a while. That's a flashback. I would do a watch along of that. 
What's in here? Oh, it's Reuben. Hello, Reuben. An exorcist? Surely there are no demons here, though. This was an accident, wasn't it? Uh-huh. If Gideon is possessed, that would mean he did it on purpose. That's not how you pronounce that Horrible. name. <laughs> you know what, sussy? You can't pronounce your brother's name right. It's Gideon. You must be the elder brother. Yes, my name is Reuben Garamond. I am responsible for the engineering and design of our implants. Uh-huh. How did Mother Miriam die, exactly? This was a church system that uses cybernetic stuff? That's interesting. It was a completely preventable accident. Mother Miriam died because Gideon deliberately flouted the ceremonial guidelines for his own glory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so mad about that for a while. <laughs> Gideon may be my flesh and blood, but he must take responsibility for his negligence. Sister Ada, hear Reuben's testimony and judge for yourself whether he speaks truth or lies. Sounds like the Vatican and Trinity blood. Ah, good call. The testimony of a suspect is divided into events. You can access detailed descriptions of events by hovering over them. You can manipulate the timeline marker to navigate to any moment in the testimony. Which is interesting. This is that, That's this bottom part. That's what I noticed in the trailer was that you'll get testimonies from different people and you'll see where it conflicts. Let's listen to what Reuben has to say. Mother Miriam came to us to receive a consecration ceremony, but she wanted something extravagant. Gideon suggested setting the coronet to have maximum ether output. Oh, and there's a I warned him that wait, doing so wait, is highly can dangerous. Can no. This is cool. This is a visual representation of each person's alibi or testimony. That's amazing. Gideon convinced her to move forward with the ceremony anyway, since he was going to handle everything. I went back to my tasks. This part of his testimony is rather long and repetitive. I mean, it might be another way to pronounce it, but no. <laughs> something, something Jaguar. <laughs> When Gideon activated the consecration chamber, I immediately felt something was wrong. The consecration chamber Gideon is an organ? Stop, but he didn't That's listen. That's clever. Oh. Oh, oh, her head, oh, her head blew up. Oh. Should I? I need to, I need to learn how to put trigger warnings on these things. This is kind of graphic. Oh no. I probably should put somewhere that I'm <laughs> the brown the brown note. Mm. Okay, so that was his testimony. This is Reuben, elder brother, less popular than Gideon due to his dour, cynical demeanor and his focus on the engineering of the implements. I just noticed this in the corner. Mother Miriam, the victim, newly appointed voice of Einsoff, who was scheduled to receive an Aether Coronet implement at the workshop. Okay, and this is Gideon. This is madness! I will not suffer this injustice! Oh, okay, never mind. I don't like Gideon anymore. Gideon anymore. <laughs> I like Reuben more. Better. I am Gideon the Grand. At least the he pronounces cybernetician of our generation. See, he pronounced his own name, right? I am blessed. I don't know what went wrong this morning. My hands are guided by the divine. Oh, great. I see only gaudy trinkets here. Mother Miriam died by your hands. Is that not so? 
Oh, this is a voice. No, I would never harm her. Besides, why would I? She was my patron. In her kindness and generosity, she truly wasn't like a mother to me, and I her son. He does have a mad scientist voice. Mm. I did nothing wrong. The consecration chamber must have been compromised. Let us hear what Gideon has to say. Keep in mind that Gideon's testimony may differ greatly from Reuben's version of events. If an event is co corroborated by another suspect's testimony, it will be marked as verified on the timeline. Okay. Let's listen to what Gideon has to say. Mother Miriam came to me for her consecration ceremony. I've performed this many times before, so I was confident. To prepare for the ceremony, I ordered Reuben to take Mother Miriam to the consecration chamber. Wait, that Meanwhile, doesn't seem I right. The coronet's Wait a second. Yeah, no, I was about to say. No, he went back, like, Reuben went back to work at that time. You were doing all of it. To prepare for the ceremony, Mother Miriam came to... Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. This makes sense. This is interesting. Good. I should remember that I can ask a suspect about any statement in a testimony. Were you alone when greeting Mother Miriam? Hmm. Yes. I'm certain I was alone then. He insists he was alone. I wonder if Reuben will co corroborate this. For now, let's finish hearing the rest of the testimony. Hey, Nabiru. Yeah, he's very sus. Yep. Also, let's see. De let's see. Let's see. How? How bad is the latency, by the way? Let's see. Um, type a one in the chat when you hear this. Oh. Oh, the, the latency is pretty bad, actually. Um, how do I fix that? Yeah, about 13 seconds. Um, how... I am a... Hi, I am Twitch Boomer. I need help. How I fix? Any, any, any takers for helping? No, we don't need to summon Reed. Okay, it's not that bad. All right. I mean, 13 seconds is 13, 13 seconds. We'll be fine. No, 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 I don't need to wake him up. If it gets really bad, then we'll see. All right, continuing the testimony. To prepare for the ceremony, I ordered Reuben to take Mother Miriam to the consecration chamber. Yeah, that's also sus. Reuben didn't do that. He Meanwhile, went back to work. I adjusted the coronet's amplification at my work table and then placed it on Mother Miriam's head. Can I? Can I? To prepare for the ceremony, I ordered Reuben. 
rude. I didn't read read that out. While I adjusted <laughs> the coordinates amplification at my work table, and then placed it on Mother Miriam's head. Wait, was she just in there forever then? What are these noises? What are these noises? There's a going like ding 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 ding. We began by closing our eyes and praying together to Einsoff. I thought I heard the chamber open, but didn't think much of it. Then I activated the consecration chamber and began the ceremony itself. The aether output was within safe ranges. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was just negligent. But one of them might be possessed by a demon. I am an exorcist, that's why I'm here. Then we began by closing our eyes and praying together to Einsoff. I thought I heard the chamber open, but then it happened. Mother Miriam was killed. But it's impossible. I had everything under control. All right, I've heard enough, I seem. Let's leave this conversation. Now that we've heard the testimony from each suspect, let's think carefully. There's only one truth to the chain of events of this morning, and I doubt that either brother has told it to us. So we must rely on Ein Einsoft's greatest gift to us. Our minds. Okay. There are three ways we should consider that what we've discovered. First way is deduction. Since there can only be one truth, if two things don't align, one or both of them are false. If Gideon and Reuben do not agree on something, someone is lying. Or, if what they say do not match the evidence I find, then they must be lying. Yes, that's how detective work exists. <laughs> Second is induction. I should base my theory based on what I discover. Okay. If my theory does not align with any of the testimonies or evidence that I find, then I should discard it. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Einzulgaun. Mm. Ein soft. Actually, that's probably Latin for something, right? Hold on. Ein. Uh. Oh, okay. The first thing that pops up is in Scottish. Ein is more like, um, personal or like it's a uh, possessive thing. Well, how do I explain this? Like, Ein Sof is like my something, I think. I like learning things. I like Googling things. It's fun. Two theories are both possible, then I should prefer the one that has more information that supports it. Watch, I need to look at something. I'm making sure that something is a separate window for the inevitable something happens, potentially. Okay. Finally, abduction. I must hypothesize what could have happened, filling gaps in information with my imagination. This is the fastest and most powerful way of thinking, but also the most fraught. I should engage in each of 
the three ways in order to uncover the truth. And I'm sure you're going to show me how. Younger brother crafts the casing and ornaments of implements and handles the ceremonial aspects. Okay. Okay. So, let me see this. I would, I would like to look at the testimony again. Hold on. Imagination. Okay. So, Miriam's arrival. Mother Miriam came to me for her consecration ceremony. I've performed this many times before, so I was confident. Corroboration, no. Specific specificity, no. And Rubens is much shorter. Um, Miriam's arrival, verified. Corroboration, specificity. Mother Miriam came to us to receive a consecration ceremony, but she wanted something extravagant. Gideon suggested setting the coronet to have maximum aether output. I warned him that doing so is highly dangerous. Hmm. I wish I could question this. What is next? What do I do? Virgil, what do I do? Hi. But Reuben claims that it's Gideon's fault. Are either of them telling the truth? Perhaps there's another possibility. Okay. I'd like to talk to Reuben again. Can I do that? Yes. Gideon suggested setting the coronet. I want to ask about this. They didn't heed your warning. Why not? Gideon believes that his so-called genius makes him impervious to danger. An ordinary, ordinary man might fail, but not Gideon the Grand. As for Mother Miriam, she only has ears for Gideon. Today was no different. Okay, interesting. I'm going to have to ask Gideon about that other statement as well. And then... Curious, Reuben claims he went back to his workstation. What does Gideon say? Let's switch to his testimony. Oh, I can- oh, okay, cool. Gideon claims that Reuben opened the door to the consecration chamber. Let's go back to Reuben. Yeah, that- that's what I was saying from Gideon the start. Gideon convinced her to move forward with the ceremony anyway. Since he was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. There's a contradiction. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's how I do it. There we go. Lies! Unmasked! Reuben Garamond, you did not return to your workstation after the discussion. Gideon ordered you to open the consecration chamber for Mother Miriam. Ordered me? Is that what he told you? Despite his delusions, Gideon is certainly not my master. I did open the chamber, it's true. I apologize for the omission. It's a regular part of our routine that it slipped my mind earlier. Okay. Okay. Reuben has amended his testimony. Let's examine that. Good. The statement from Reuben's testimony is now verified for two reasons. Gideon's testimony confirms that Reuben opened the door for Mother Miriam. The specificity... The specificity... <sighs> words. It has a shorter time frame and describes a clearer set of events. Uh, okay, okay. I can assume that any verified statement like this is true. Okay. What's more, the contradiction weakened the suspect's resolve. His eye of... Oh! Oh, they all have this little shiny thing on their forehead. Oh, they all have an eye of providence. That's interesting. Okay. Which allows me to enter his sanctum, the digital representation of his mind. What? <laughs> This universe is interesting. I wish we had more lore about it. Let us use his third eye to enter his sanctum and see what truly motivates this subject. Okay, interesting. Giving me some AI Somnium files vibes. We only cracked the outer layer of his sanctum for this time. Still, let's examine the psychological evidence that we found. Interesting. The information will help me discern which statements is true. 
Found in Ruben's sanctum, faithful servant of Ein Sof, or so he thinks. He knows that cybernetics are a critical part of the one truth. Okay. Let's quickly examine each statement in his testimony again. Some of the statements are now supported by the subject, 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 suspects, psychology. Next, I must find correlations between the suspect's behavior and existing demons. Let's open the demonology. Heck yeah, give me the demons. Lucifer the Proud. Nice. All right. The Prince of Demons and the Eternal Adversary of Einsoff manifests in the ambitious and strong-willed, promising them their heart's desire in exchange for their soul. Doesn't sound right. Beelzebub, the gluttonous. Ooh, it looks very big and ominous. Simple-minded demon that debilitates the host, turning them into feral beasts. The host is compelled to consume stranger and filthier things until nothing remains of their humanity. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That doesn't seem right, but cool. Sathanas, the vengeful. A furious demon that stores the shimmering rage within the host. Preys upon the fervent and the righteous, goading them to take matters into their own hands. Kind of fits? Lotan, the envious. Oh, it's Lotan. Playful but deceitful demon who slowly drives the host mad with whispers of their own inadequacy. The host blames others for their ill fortune until the apparent injustice drives them to take what is rightfully theirs. Oh, this is because... Okay. Okay, so we we have we have four demons. Interesting. Can I can I oh I can leave. If the suspect is possessed, there should be a psychological evidence that has a clear correlation with the demon. To obtain further psychological evidence, I must find more contradictions and present them. Okay, interesting. They decided to perform the ceremony anyway. I opened the consecration chamber while Gideon brought the coronet. Since Gideon was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. Okay. Let's let's They decided to perform So the door was closed until this point. Why did you not close it after Mother Miriam entered? Because I knew Gideon was bringing the coronet soon. The ceremony had yet to begin anyway, so it was still safe to keep the chamber open. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Since Gideon All right. was going to handle I'll everything, see you soon, Damon. I went back to my tasks. Meanwhile, I adjusted the coronet's amplification at my work table, and then placed it on Mother Miriam's head. We began by closing our eyes and praying together to Ein Sof. I thought I heard the chamber open, but didn't think much of it. Then I activated the consecration chamber and began the ceremony itself. The aether output was within safe ranges. Then it happened. Mother Miriam was killed. But it's impossible. I had everything under control. Okay, okay. Let's just re-talk to him. Oh, there's a lot more things that I need to look at, it seems. Okay. Alright, let's let's stop talking to them and look at other things. I'm assuming anything that's shiny is available for me to look at. The coronet limiter. Evidence found. 
A valuable piece of physical evidence. A new entry is now added to your evidence panel, which can be found in the lower left. Oh, okay. You must present them to the suspects in order to discover contradictions. All right. Okay. Found in Gideon's workspace is in pristine condition. A component is required to safely install the coronet without causing an aether oversearch. That wasn't very successful. All right, I mean, it's got to talk to Gideon about this first. Now that we've discovered important pieces of evidence, let's ask the suspect about them. Shiny stuff must be, must touch, must touch all of it. Good, I should remember that I can ask a suspect about any evidence that I find. Recognize this component, Gideon. I was found, it was found at your workstation. The coronet limiter, impossible. But the explosion, how can it be undamaged? Someone must have removed it from the coronet prior to 